Hi guys, Assalamu alaikum, Namaste, Sasriya Kaal, I hope you are doing well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is on this makeup look that I am wearing. I have created this orange peachy makeup look for summer. I love using colors and you all know this. But I love colors to be both bold and soft. I have used orange and peach shade here but kept the look softer. I hope you will enjoy this tutorial so let's start with this look. First, I'll apply one of my favorite Pixi Vitamin C Brightening Perfector on my face. I have already moisturized my skin. This primer does a great job of blurring skin perfections and makes the skin smooth and radiant. After that, I am using Photo Finish Revitalize 8-in-1 Primer Essence from Smashbox. It's a multi-purpose spray. It provides a noticeable glow to my skin. For foundation, I'll use two foundations today. Shiseido Synchro Skin Glow Luminizing Fluid Foundation and MAC Studio Fix Foundation. I'm mixing them to get my desired shade. Now I'm applying it all over my face in dots and going to blend it with this beauty blender from Makeup Revolution. In summer, I keep my base light as I love a natural finish in this season. This Shiseido foundation is very lightweight and gives light coverage though the MAC Studio foundation is slightly thick but I have mixed a little quantity so it feels okay. You can see the finish of these foundations. Now I'll prime my eyelids with the concealer and I'm using my favorite Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer for it. Applying it on both lids then blending them with the same blender. I have blended them well so next I'll set my eyebrows and for that I'll use this Benefit eyebrow pencil which is my favorite. First I'm brushing the hair of my brows with a spoolie brush and then filling the gaps with the pencil. It works so smoothly and gives a natural like finish. After filling I set the hair again with the brush and I'm done. Moving to my eye makeup, I blended the concealer again and then set it with some setting powder. For eye makeup, I am going to be using this Eye Reflections Shadow Palette from Pixi Beauty. I love this palette for neutral and smoky eye makeup. So first I am taking this matte rust shade and applying it above the crease and taking the shade to the outer corner then slightly winking it out in such a way to achieve a lifted look. Then I am taking this blending brush from RBR and blending the shade well. Then I have taken the same shade from the palette and applying it to the lower lash lines and then blending everything out. Next, I am using another palette and this is Makeup Revolution X Friends palette Joy which is a lovely colorful palette and I am gonna take this orange shade and applying it just on the outer corners. And to the lower lash lines as well. Again, I am blending all the shades well so that they can mix with each other. Make sure your brush moves above while blending. 
The next shade that I am picking is this beige color shade. And putting it on my lids. Then brow bones and inner corners of my eyes and mix them well. Next I am taking a deep brown shade from the Pixi Beauty palette and applying it as eyeliner. I am creating a thin wing with a thin blending brush. I am blending the liner to achieve a smudgy effect. Using my finger to get a lifted wing. Deepening the line again and then blending again. Time to wear a pair of false eyelashes and I have done it off camera. Now we only have one thing left to do, apply mascara and I am gonna use this Lash Lift Mascara from the Makeup Revolution. You can see some fallout under my eyes so I am cleaning the area by applying concealer. Also applying a little bit near my nose, lips and middle of the forehead. I will blend everything with the blender. Next, I'll set all the areas where I have applied concealer with the setting powder and of course I am using my favorite airspun translucent powder with a puff and then dusting away the extra powder with the brush. This is Hula Bronzer from Benefits Cosmetics and I am going to contour my face. I am applying it on the both sides of my nose. I am using the small brush of the bronzer. Then below my cheekbones, around the sides of the forehead and then under the jaw bones to slim the area. I blended everything with a contouring brush. For blush, I am going to be using this blush from the balm in shade It's Date because I have used slightly bright color on my eyes so I will use this soft pastel color on my face. This is a soft peach color matte blush and I really like how it looks after applying. It feels like your natural cheeks color. Now we are moving on to the setting powder again and applying it to both sides of my cheeks to give them some more definition. I am brushing away the excess powder with a large brush. For highlighter, I am going to be using this highlighter from L'Oreal. This highlighter also adds a natural sheen to the face and that's exactly what I want today. So I am applying this to the high points areas like cheekbones, the tips of the lips and nose and then on the chin. 
I'll set everything with the setting spray and this pixie milky mist does this job perfectly. There's nothing more refreshing than a face mist in summer. This hydrating milky mist keeps me nourished and glowing. Moving to the lips, making an outline with a lip liner using this plump up lip liner from Elizabeth Arden in shade top. It's a coral nude shade that I really like. I want to put slightly orangish coral shade lipstick on my lips so I am applying this deep coral shade lipstick from Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Lipstick in the shade Rebellious Rose. Though the shade is slightly deep but as it's not bright orange so I think it's looking good with this eye makeup. So I finished my makeup. But what about hair? Tada! I have set them now. When wearing a pair of white stone earrings and I am done. And this is my completed look. Okay guys, that's going to be everything for this summer makeup tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And press the bell icon so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. Follow me on Instagram so you keep up with everything that's going on. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.